Political analyst Dr. Vishnu Raghunath says the three-way fight between the PNM, UNC and COP in 41 new constituencies may cause some parties to win seats in areas where they would have never stood a chance. Mr. Raghunath explained that the addition or removal of polling divisions in many areas such as St. Joseph would have a direct impact on the election results. He says in St. Joseph, the polling divisions that the EBC added consisted of people who supported the PNM while the divisions that they removed through their support behind the UNC. Clearly, that seat now which the UNC would have led in 2002 with 1,228 votes, in 2007, based on the list from last week, the PNM is ahead by 2,500. See the shift? When you're talking about that, and you're saying the PNM now is ahead by 2,500, as opposed to having been behind by 1,200, this seat, without even that division of the COP and UNC, could run away to the PNM. The political analyst believes the PNM will win 17 seats, leaving the UNC and the COP to fight for nine constituencies. He says the other 14 seats will be a toss-up, which the parties will have to fight tooth and nail to win. If there was a single opposition and the UNC and COP had fought and, and could command clearly nine seats, and there were 14 other seats that we're talking about, 14 and 9 is 23, they could win government. If the PNM is, has 18 all they need is three of the marginals to give them government. In a two-way fight, the margin was decreased. In a three-way fight, if the UNC vote is to be split significantly between the COP and the, the UNC, then the PNM will run away with a victory. Dr. Raghunard says that the safer seats, which the UNC and the PNM believe they have in their back pockets, may be up for grabs along with new seats such as Kumuto Manzanilla and Mayaro. Kamabala Boyk, Cal News.